incredible player. Actually, Sweet T qualified himself for the um, Nintendo uh, official tournaments. The, those yeah, ones. he did. Yeah. He, he got flown to, to PAX. So yeah, I'm sure he enjoyed that. that yeah, was, that, that was absolutely hot, hot um, venue. Plays Pokemon Trainer and uh, Pichu. Mostly the Pokemon Trainer is what I see a lot. Um, yeah, this Pokemon Trainer has run really trained nice. through brackets many, many, many. Yeah, times. he won a recent MSM uh, not too long ago. Yeah, Poke Loke. I wonder if this is uh, a Texan player. Um, uh, isn't isn't Tony Locator from te from Texas? I believe right. so. I believe so. I, maybe it's a different T Loke, and I'm just like yeah, they're, talking they're, out my butt. There are many people on the planet. <laughs> another group, another another crew T Loke. Oh my gosh, another wolf! Yo, what's going on? Wolf is incredibly popular hey, character. Dude, <laughs> if there's no entry fee, all the wolves come out. <laughs> okay, down. Oh, okay. Down to the all dash right. stack, bread and butters. We're looking good. All right, this is so far is the most clinical wolf we've seen on the stream so far. Definitely. Look at look at the patience mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we might see a more spacing focus game. Okay. And that two whiffs right there from Sweet Team. First whiffing an aerial and then whiffing the turnaround jab there. Oh my god. Landing on his shield with Nair, not the greatest. You always want to do safer aerials in this game and getting a second there. That F smash was super duper safe. I'm surprised he got a fair out of shield there. Yeah. Fortunately for uh Sweet T, Squirtle is very small, so anything that he does out of shield is going to actually be very low to the ground mm -hmm. as well. Ooh. I, that was actually the, the clutchest uh, tether cancel because he could have gotten punished for that. All right, Sweet Kimono. T, I love the patience exercise. I mean, he had every cop option covered. He could basically react. Oh, my Whoa. God. Yeah, the forward smash has a really deceptive hitbox. kind of hits behind him. And we'll send you flying forward <laughs> into deceptive. the black Deceptive? That's an understatement. The dude is like... A in front of him. Yeah. Oh my god, let's go. Ivysaur F smash, saving saving days, saving rolls. Okay. That was actually really grim. Oh, there's another one. Yes, and he's going to recreate this situation over and over again because he can actually spam that downer at the ledge relatively safely, and that downer has an enormous hitbox that will be very good to contest that up B that I mentioned earlier. You can't uh, a lot of characters can't contest, contest Wolf up, uh, yeah. up recovery. Up special, yeah. And truthfully, I feel like that's actually everybody's favorite move in this game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Least favorite move, Ivysaur's downer. But we got the oh, switch to Charizard. It's definitely one of my least favorite <laughs> moves in this game. <laughs> no. Oh, back throw here? Yep. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, yeah. 200%. I mean, <laughs> He could have. He could have nared. Nared. Hey. Nared would have done the trick. Up air would have killed the trick. <laughs> Back air would have done the trick. He All, every, on everything you, he had would have killed. Actually, forward tilt. Like, there's a forward tilt though. Yeah, there we go. There's another forward tilt. All right. Okay, I like that tech chase. Sweet T showing a lot of awareness here. Okay, and this and the water gun misses the misses the down air and the F smash, and Kimona actually making it back to stage. Ooh, both players boxing right now. We're seeing spot dodges, whip grabs, a lot of boxing going on. Kimono at the at the at this at the edge the corner. Can he get back to center stage? Sweetie kind of keep him out. The threat of leaf of razor leaf prevalent. Okay. Ooh. Kimono, I mean not uh, 161. Yeah, up throw is gonna take That's that it. KO right here. Uh, so 72% lead. Switching right on over to the Ivysaur. And we saw a lot of razor leaves last stock. Just the presence of it really kind of put put Kimono at edge. Even if. Sweet T wasn't covering the middle of the stage. Like even right now, even though Kimona has middle has middle stage, she, she's really scared of the Razor Leaf. See, uh, she even tried to shine it. Oh my God, dude! He did like three to four up airs. Oh, you're gonna die. Is that Sour Spot? Oh, that was a great Tomahawk. It. Wow. Catching the DIA. That was a great Tomahawk. Yeah. Fundamentally speaking, your opponent's shielding and you're in the air. One of the greatest things you can do is empty jump and grab. That's 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 kind of just 101, 102, those classes. All right, so Sweet T taking game one, uh, relatively convincingly actually. Kimono put up a great fight though, I have to say. Yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely didn't go down without a fight. Uh, let's see what happens here in game two. What stage then? They, I think they ended up going back. Yeah. Run it back. <laughs> run it back. Screw that. Run it back. Whew, okay, if I were Kimona, I would try to look for more opportunities to maybe just sp space tilts. 
Okay, that that that's definitely not what you want to do. You don't want to try to re-grab after you just throw. Okay, so Kimona, once again, off to an early start, but nothing that Sweet T couldn't just make up for with the two-piece combo himself. Yeah. The diff the main difference is I feel like um, Sweet T is looking for these like combo starters or, or jab reset situations a lot more. Like that neutral air out of shield at this percent is incredibly strong because he gets uh, the jabs, which mm -hmm. lead to grabs and way more damage with the aerials, like <laughs> up airs to up airs to fares. Like. Yeah, no, it, it, it's actually deceptive because if you miss a tech, it's you could lose a stock for it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. up air. Ooh. Oh my God! And the beefy down smash coming out from Kimona. Uh, how long can we keep Sweet T at the ledge? All really right. good F-Tilt. So far doing a really good job getting the parry on these Razor Leaves. Up tilt. All right, neutral air. What is, what, what's What's the confirm off a of neutral air? Um, with, with, with Ivysaur, yeah. not too many. Uh, f I was talking more so for, for Wolf. Like, what, what, what were they looking for? Uh, probably a back air. Or, or actually, I'm, you, I don't play Wolf. It's, it's tough. It's hard to say. Um, gets a grab. That was actually really good awareness from Kimono to just both players were shielding. Oh, he, tried, he did it again. Roll behind and get the back throw uh, yeah. KO right here. Whoa, the mix-ups. That, that was actually a very interesting mix-up. It would have killed. It would have um, killed for sure. Yeah, if Sweet Tea was playing a more grounded game, that actually really would have... That would have been very clever, I have to say. Uh, and that's actually kind of what you're going to need. Wow! Okay, I was actually a little scared. Okay, okay but throw going to be enough for uh, Sweet Tea to take that. First KO, but not without holding 164%. Oh my god, that oh, was oh, oh, so... Dude. Oh my god. Was that true? Was that true? I think at that percent it may have been on the DI in. Hello? On the DI in. Oh my god, that that was disgusting. It, it, I, I think only on DI in, but... <laughs> Either way, Sweet T had the read and right now taking a two-stock lead, man. Oh. Only 20% off that stock, not a lot of mileage for Kimona here. Yeah, and... Uh, Sweet T content to throw out flamethrower, kind of keep a more distance game. I like that approach. Wait for an egregious option like that. Wolf flash from across the stage. All right, Mr. Big, punish that. Big word, man. Oh, up smash. <laughs> oh, flamethrower again. He's doing. He's doing. He's gonna do it again. Just make him mess up. He's yeah. gonna go for the down air. Oh, yeah. That up he just catches a lot of options. I mean, because you're not, I'm not. I wasn't expecting that. That hit pretty much everybody who was playing. Yeah, Kimono was happy about that one too. They go fist bump. <laughs> yeah, a little pop off. Uh, yeah, Sweet Tea. I mean, it's an uphill battle, though, at this point. Sitting on your last stock, your work's cut out for you. Okay, Sweet Tea switching to Ivysaur. What can we do here? Okay, I, I like the upbeat from, from the ledge, but um, Kimona actually playing very distance. It, it won't reach. Oh, my God. That nearly killed from Sweet Tea. Oh. It actually did because Kimona had no more recovery left. That is so unfortunate.